question from the topic coordinate geometry. What we are looking at in terms of a concept is computing slope of a line given coordinates of two points through which this line passes. It is a medium difficulty question. Which of the following could be the slope of the line that passes through the point 4, 5 and intercepts the y axis below the origin? See, typically if you know the coordinates of two points, we will be able to find the slope. We will look at the formula to compute it. Here we know the coordinates of one point. We do not know the coordinates of the second point. The coordinates of the second point, for example, had been a 0, minus 5 or something. Then we will have one single value for the slope. We will not have multiple values for the slope. The second point is not given as a single point. They have said that it cuts the y axis at a point below the origin. There are infinite possibilities exist. So, given that among these answer options given, which all could possibly be the slope of that line? Let us take a look at this line, we will draw this line, understand what is stated and then basically find out how to get to the answer. We are saying this line passes through a point 4, 5, a first quadrant point because x and y coordinates are positive and it cuts the y axis at a point below the origin. This is the origin, 0, 0 is the origin and it cuts the y axis at a point below the origin. So, any time when it cuts the y axis, the x coordinate of such a point is 0. All y intercepts, x coordinates are going to be 0. Let us say the place where it cuts the y axis, the y coordinate is a y1. It is evident that y1 is a negative number. right? Now, let us say the two points through which it passes are 4, 5 and 0, y1. How do we find out the slope of a line given coordinates of two points? If you know the points through which it passes have coordinates x1, y1 and x2, y2, then the slope of the line is computed using this formula y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. In our case, let us take this point to be x1, y1. And let us take this point to be equal to x2, y2. So, let us quickly plug in the values of x1, y1, y and x2, y2 and see what the slope pans out to. The slope will be equal to y2 is a 5 minus y1 divided by x2 is a 4 minus 0. So, this is a 5 minus y1 divided by 4 is what we have. Now, from this point forward, we can reason it out two ways. What the slope of this line that we are talking about is going to be. Right. Look at it, is y1 a negative number? Yes, we have said y1 is a negative number. So, 5 minus a negative number is going to take a value which is greater than 5. So, the numerator is going to be a value which is 5 plus a delta, right? It is going to be greater than 5 divided by 4, which essentially means that now I can conclude that the slope of our line is going to be a value which is greater than 5 by 4 because it is 5 plus a positive number by 4, which means its value is going to be greater than 5 by 4, which means the slope of the line should be greater than 1.25, right. This is one way of reasoning it out. I will walk you through a second reasoning, right. We know that it cuts the y axis at a point below the origin. Let us find out what the slope will be if it cut it at the origin, right. It is not cutting at the origin, it is cutting somewhere below, but had it passed through the, the line passed through a point 0, 0, which is it cut the x axis and the y axis at the origin, cut the y axis more to say at the origin, then the slope of this line, we will call it as line L1 for reference sake. So, slope of this line L1, which is not our line, is equal to y2 minus y1, 5 minus 0 by x2 minus x1, which is equal to a 5 by 4, right. So, had it passed through the origin, the slope would have been a 5 by 4. This line is not passing through the origin. This line is actually passing through a point which is below the origin. So, for L1, we know the slope is equal to a 5 by 4. The line that is of interest to us, we will call it as L2. It is quite evident that L2, this line which we are interested in, which cuts the y axis at a point below the origin, is steeper than the line that we talked about earlier. The line that passes through the origin is flatter, while the line that passes through a point which cuts the y axis below the origin, the line of interest to us, is a steeper line. So, slope of line L2, which is the line we are interested in, is therefore greater than the slope of line L1. Steeper lines have a greater slope which essentially means the slope of our line which we are interested in should be greater than 5 by 4, which is what we discussed in a different way in the last slide. So, the slope should be greater than 5 by 4 is a 1.25. So, from the six answer options, let us pick all those values which have a value which is greater than 5 by 4 or greater than 1.25. This is a negative number, definitely will not work. This is exactly 5 by 4, therefore, this is also not going to work. This is 7 by 4. 7 by 4, 7 is a larger numerator than 5 by the same denominator, therefore this is a possible value. 6 by 5, let us compute it and see, 6 by 5 is a 1.2, whereas we want it to be greater than 1.25, so this is not a possible answer. 4 by 5, we want it to be greater than 5 by 4, which itself is a number greater than 1. This is a number less than 1, so this is not going to work. It could be a 2, which is greater than 1.25.
So, what all answer options are there? It could either be a 7 by 4 or a 2, which means that C and F are the answers to this question.